Hey everyone and welcome back to Sydney Trains Vlogs and first off thank you all so very very much for helping me reach 30,000 subscribers. Yep, that's it, we've hit 30,000 subscribers. Very, very exciting, very cool. Um, for this video, uh, what, so what I'd usually do is, um, you know, I'd go to a train station and film, what, about 10 minutes worth of footage um, of trains. And um, for other videos, I do like a follow me around, which is sort of like a, a behind the scenes, sort of between the videos thing. Well, I decided to do sort of an all-in-one. So, you know, we're gonna film the travel to these stations, um, the whole train spotting session at that station, um, the travel to the next spot, that kind of thing. So it's gonna be a very lengthy video for you all, uh, which is pretty cool. And um, another thing, a bit of a bonus, is there will be a huge Q&A question questions and answers section in this video, um, made up of questions that a lot of you asked. Um, I've done my best to um, write down almost all of your questions uh, so so these questions will be answered throughout this video not all at once um, but yeah so I've got about uh, 10 11 or 12 maybe even 13 pages worth of questions um, in a notepad in my bag so you know here and there throughout the video we'll uh, yeah we'll get through all of these questions now I was a little bit worried as I was walking up um, up to central here because uh, there's, there's a lot of um, a lot of coaches I thought that something massive must have happened however they're just regional coaches um, to replace I don't know an XPT or two something like that it's 11.49 in the morning in the Indian Pacific isn't here yet, it is a Wednesday, so I actually think all those coaches are actually to convey people um, to wherever the Indian Pacific might be waiting. It's quite interesting, so it's not for an XPT. And explains the abundance of coaches too. <laughs> Alright, so there's actually quite a big issue with uh, the Indian Pacific today. So, um, just, uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, I'll read a little bit of it. Uh, dear guest, as advised yesterday, an unprecedented flash flooding event has occurred on the Nullarbor, Nullarbor Plain, which has impacted all track access. Unfortunately, that means the Indian Pacific was not able to depart, depart as scheduled and remains stationary in Perth. So it's still in Perth. So the Indian Pacific has been cancelled um, this week. So what we're going to do now is just on and um, we're gonna go up to platform 18 and 19 and we're gonna get a train out to Auburn so when I when I go out and film trains I just you know sometimes I'm like okay I want to cover this I want to cover that uh, there's a few things to catch up on that kind of thing or sometimes I just wake up and I'm like you know what I feel like going here that kind of thing just like now I feel like going to Auburn um, so we're gonna start off by going there so um, we'll most likely, uh, hopefully, get a Parramatta service. Parramatta services stop all stations through the inner west to Strathfield and all stations on the Parramatta, including Auburn. Okay, so the next Parramatta service isn't for 20 minutes. However, on platform 19 in 13 minutes, uh, we have a Leppington via Granville service, which will indeed stop at uh, Auburn. Sweet, so we'll head up there and uh, might even get a couple of trains arriving and departing. All right, just walking up towards the Redfern end of platform 19 because when we do get to Auburn, I want to jump off at the uh, yeah, front end of the train, sort of away from most of the people. All right, so this is a Homebush train, all stations to Strathfield, then Homebush. This departs in a minute and my Leppington service will be in eight minutes. Actually, uh, my one's the one in 11 minutes. 
Uh, this one's expressed due to being half an hour late due to an issue at Cabramatta earlier. The next train to arrive on platform 19 goes to Flippington. First stop, Cabramatta. Please wait for so because uh, that train is running half an hour late, uh, it is skipping um, all stations between Lidcombe and Liverpool, uh, which will help the train, uh, will help the driver, help the crew, help everybody make up um, time for that service. Uh, my train is the one in 10 minutes. Um, it is running about 15 or 16 minutes late. Um, however, that one will uh, get us to Auburn. Once we get on the Leppington train, we'll get through a page or two of, uh, of these questions. That's A37 into platform 16 for a North Shore service. T9 Hornsby service via Stratford and Epping, leaving platform 18. City via Town Hall service uh, run by a B38 on platform 17. Trains are running a bit behind schedule. You've got this B set here and you've got another uh, A set creeping up behind, uh, which, which will come into platform uh, 19 just after the B set does leave. While A43 comes into platform 16 for a North Shore service. There goes the uh, altered service, the express, to Leppington. My train B12. Lippington via Granville. First stop Redfern, then Newtown, Ashfield, Burwood, Stratfield. All right, so what we're going to do, um, just a slight change of plans, I do have the book here um, with the questions, is we're going to jump off at Redfern and get the following Leppington service, which is only about one or two minutes behind this one. It's an MSET. Uh, the train will be a little bit emptier um, upstairs and uh, sort of downstairs a little bit or um, just a bit too full to sort of read these things out. But um, I do have the first page of questions here. Don't worry about the handwriting, as you can tell. I've probably... Uh, probably written neater in my life. Um, don't have the use for pens much, you know what I mean? So with all the technology and stuff like that, um, on very rare occasions you sort of maybe sign some paper and things like that. My 
pounds look like they've been rolling around in mud over uh, sort of not long got off work <laughs> but that's completely fine um it's coming into red phone now we'll start reading uh, the first uh, page of questions while we're waiting for the train to uh the following train uh, to to auburn which again is about one or two minutes behind this All right, we'll start with the first question, obviously. Um, first question being from Aussie John. Um, John has three questions. Uh, first is who and what was your inspiration for starting your channel? Now, I, I'd always filmed, um, not always, but I had filmed um, just the usual short videos of like a train arriving, uh, departing or passing a station. Um, before I started the vlogging side of things. Uh, but I guess um, watching YouTubers that just, uh, you know, vlog their daily life, just, you know, anything they do in their life, um, uh, watching those YouTubers' channels such as uh, Nikki and John vlogs um, sort of, you know, made me uh, made me want to get out there and just sort of start my own, um, uh, my own, you know, filming uh, to do with my life, you know, and at that, at the time, or <laughs> always, um, I've been interested in trains. So I thought, what could I do? Um, what could I, what would I say if I was to get out and start filming trains? So, um, you know, as, as you, as you know, 10 years ago, I just thought I'd, um, well, at Central Station, I thought I'd just, um, start a video and just talk about what was around me and just talk about random stuff. And, um, from there that involved, uh, involved, evolved, no coffee. Right, we've got the Leppington train here. But yeah, anyway, so I was just always interested in trains um, by watching those videos on YouTube, like the daily vlogs. I just, yeah, thought I'd, thought I'd sort of do my own spin on the daily vlogs. Well, not quite daily, but you know what I mean. Uh, question two, have you always been interested in trains and transport in general? Uh, yeah, when I, when I was a kid, I used to travel on, on trains a lot with my grandfather. Um, I lived on the Richmond branch uh, in Windsor. Um, so I, like my, I lived in Windsor and, um, and my grandfather lived, lived out at Richmond. So, um, you know, I'd stay with my grandfather, um, on, on weekends and things like that and get the train, uh, to and from Richmond and Windsor. And if I was lucky enough, I'd actually get a train, um, into the city, which was sort of like a bonus for me. Um, and another thing as well, I've, I, I was always, um, interested in buses from when I, uh, went to school, like I used to catch the old Leyland Leopards um, and uh, the Volvo B10Ms, uh, things like that. Um, uh, yeah, they were part of the company Westbus out at Windsor. And um, the third question from Aussie John is, uh, do you realise that you have inspired hundreds of kids to follow in your footsteps and how do you feel about it? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely realise that. I've noticed that um, a lot actually. <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel good about it. Um, it gets them out of the house, um, off, uh, I was going to say off the iPads, but I guess that, um, I guess that they'd be taking photos and filming on their iPads or phones and things like that, but, um, it gets them off the couch, it gets them out of the house, you know, gets them travelling around a little bit, um, which is really cool, and, um, to know that I've sort of inspired that, yeah, it's good, as long as they stay safe, stay behind the yellow line and, you know, 
respect the rules. Uh, the next two questions are from Elliot from T Sets Transport. Uh, his first question is, what made you want to start a YouTube channel on transport? Um, similar to John's first question, sort of. Uh, watching watching um, YouTubers um, back then, like way back when I started filming um, a channel like Nikki and John Vlogs um, and Angry Love 77, uh, they'd film like their daily videos. Um, yeah, the, then I decided to randomly, it was like really spontaneous, it wasn't planned, um, at Central Station, just wanted to start. Um, I just wanted to film what was around me, train related, um, and that, yeah, evolved from there. Very much evolved from there, actually. Um, uh, and your second question, Elliot, is um, what are some other train related YouTube channels that you recommend and did any of them inspire me with my channel? Um, there was no inspiration um, from train channels uh, for my channel. It was just, just yeah, it was just a random thing. <laughs> but um, uh, uh, train related YouTube channels that I recommend is um, the Bus of Doom FSX. Um, he's from Melbourne. And uh, another uh, who's actually overseas is um, DJ Hammers. He's based in New York. They are based in New York. There's actually a number of them are part of that group. I'll actually go through, go to the second page and read out those questions because I was a bit late starting. All right, so um, we've got three questions from Kaylin Smith. Question one is, how long does it take to edit and upload each video? Um, it's sort of hard to say. It really depends what I'm doing, like what video I'm doing and things like that. Like this video here, I'm actually um, putting the clips in um, into iMovie as I, you know, progress throughout the day. Um, but if I was to sort of edit something from scratch, like from, you know, from start to finish, um, as I am usually pretty careful with, with what I say, sorry, with what I say in the videos and what I film and everything like that to sort of make sure, for the most part, that I'm not making way too many mistakes or, or something that I'd have to, like, keep going back and, like, you know, I have to, like, you know, I have to go back and edit this out or I have to go back and, you know, correct myself with this. Um, if it's a, say, a 10 or 15 minute video, it'll probably take me about 10 to 20 minutes to put the clips in how I want them. Um, about 10 or so minutes to do the, the title and end slate and um, maybe 15 or 20 minute video will take about half an hour to export um, and as for uploading that I can't I can't tell you because it's really random sometimes reception is absolutely terrible and can take hours sometimes it's lightning fast and can take minutes <laughs> um, uh, Kaylin's Second question is, given there are so, uh, so many, oh, I'm going to add the word so anyway, uh, given there are so many channels now doing train videos, uh, what do you think sets you aside and makes yours unique? Um, well, it's hard to say now what makes me unique. Maybe it's just the abundance of coffee featured in my videos. <laughs> um, but in seriousness, um, I'm going to go back to when I started filming for this channel 10 years ago. I think what set me aside was maybe the narration of the videos and how I narrated them. Um, like, you know, saying what train was going where and what stops and what was set number and other fun facts about them. Um, I definitely wasn't the first to do that. Um, I'm sure that there was a lot of other people that sort of narrated their train videos and things like that. But um, that's that's probably one thing that I'd say set, sets me aside, um, apart from the coffee. Um, Kaylin's third question is, would you recommend starting a train spotting channel to someone with interest in trains and how would you advise them to get over the initial awkwardness of filming in public? Yeah, that's something I had sort of, I was sort of worried about when I first started. I was like, oh, I've got to be, um, I've got to try and be somewhere where no one's around because people were watching me talking to myself effectively. But I'm just, I just got over it in the end. I just did it. <laughs> like I'd start off filming with, um, uh, like in areas where there was like not many people, you know, and then and then all of a sudden I just it just sort of left my mind. I didn't really I didn't really care as long as I wasn't shoving the camera in people's faces. 
um, I, I didn't really bother me who was listening to what I was saying and what they thought of me and if they were staring at me and things like that. Um, but yeah, sorry, uh, at the start of your question, it was, would you recommend starting a train spotting channel to someone with interest in trains? Uh, yeah, I mean, each to their own. Yeah. Um, if, if, if that's what you'd like to do. And that's, yeah, for sure. Um, now I'm going to say as well, I should have said it at the beginning, um, if I get any of your names, like pronounce any of your names wrong, please don't be offended and definitely let me know in the comment section of this video. Um, okay, the next question is from mainly Joden YT. Uh, YT, would that be YouTube? Yeah, mainly Joden YT. What is your favourite and least favourite Sydney train station? For filming, or um, I'd have to say, like you said, Sydney train station. So I'm just going to take a wild guess that you mean um, Sydney trains itself. Um, my favourite Sydney train station would have to probably be St James. Um, I've been a very big fan of um, old buildings and old everything, um, the history of things, and St James Station is, it looks amazing, it's old, the detail in it is crazy, the history about the station is absolutely amazing. Um, my least favourite station. Hmm, that is really, really, really difficult, that one. Um, to film that, I might have to say... <laughs> is it difficult? I'm going to have to say maybe... This, qu this answer, probably, because I know this, this question's been asked a couple of times throughout. I'm going to have to say Hurstville. I mean, I like the place and I like the station and the variety of train, well, sort of variety of trains and the frequency of trains, but the lighting is terrible. Like you're, you're the, in the underground part and looking out to the, well, the outside part and the light just sort of beams through in such a way that where the cameras is not too great. So maybe that one, but that answer might change throughout the video uh, if it's asked again. Um, Next question is from BJN4518. Uh, BJN, is that the Bondi Junction station code? Um, your question is, what is your favorite four car S set before the retirement of S sets in 2019? I'm gonna go back to the pre-2011 or so retirements and say S133. Uh, S133 had carriage D4004 on it which was a driving trailer, um, the driving trailer that actually broke the ribbon for the Richmond to resist an electrification. Um, it led, set, uh, led two carriage set L9 uh, through that ribbon. I have about 12 pages worth of questions, so I'm actually gonna do one more page um, before we, uh, yeah, before we get to Auburn. So, next question is from Train Spotting in New South Wales. Uh, your question is, are you ever planning to film the Indian Pacific? Funnily enough, it's a Wednesday. Um, yes, I really, really want to. That is something I want to do in my life, and it is something I'll definitely do a very in-depth and lengthy review on. Um, yes, for sure. Uh, that, the GAN, uh, the Overland, the Great Southern, and other other long distance trains throughout Australia. Next question is from Jets Train Vlogs. If you ever joined Sydney Trains, would you rather be a driver or guard? You know, um, surprisingly enough, I'd, I'd actually love to be a guard. Yeah. I just, I just enjoy the whole job, you know, making announcements. It's like, you know, it's, it's all about safety of customers, you know, um, informing customers, of, you know, Everything, everything to do with train guard um, is, is something that really appeals to me. Uh, the next question is from Jeff Schrader. Is it Schrader or Schrader? I think it's Schrader. Uh, anyway, Jeff, your question is, two questions. Your first question is, which of the routes do you think you've made the most videos on regardless of what train sets you wanted to see? Um, actually, multiple routes go through there, but I think 
um, it'd most likely be the line between um, Central and Parramatta, um, I think. Off the top of my head, I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it'll have to be, yeah, uh, the stations between Central and, uh, and Parramatta. So that's uh, along through the inner west uh, and out into the western lane. Uh, your second question is, do you have a most or least favourite line to ride on? Um, from a train spotter's perspective, I think the Olympic Park is probably my least favourite to ride on. Um, it's just, uh, it's not too interesting, unless you're going to a concert or something like that, and obviously there's massive hype about that. Um, but my most favourite train to ride on, um, is probably because it's just peaceful and the scenery is absolutely amazing, is the Southern Highlands. Um, there's another one that I, another name that I'm not sure if I'll pronounce correctly, so I'm going to say two versions. <laughs> and the next question is from Luke Warminger or Warminger? Warminger, yes. Luke. Your question is, will you come back to Victoria for train spotting and vlogs? I miss Victoria every day. Um, the transport system is absolutely amazing. I actually, um, I didn't get to, but I really wanted to go up to, uh, I'm sorry, down to Victoria um, for the Newport Workshops uh, open day. That would have been absolutely amazing. Anyway, um, I'll see you at Auburn film some trains there and between some of those trains we'll uh, get some more questions uh, answered for you all. We're up to page four now. All right well we've arrived at Auburn in one or so pieces. <laughs> Hey, guard gave a wave. Alrighty, now questions um, from the Garbo filmer. What lines do you like to do train spotting, and the least favourite? Uh, the one, I, the ones I like to be tra to do train spotting uh, would be the line between uh, Central and Parramatta, uh, so the inner west and um, that part of the western line, just because of the variety of trains and the frequency of trains. Um, Garbo filmer, obviously you uh, like the garbage truck side of things. Um, just actually reminded me, um, uh, there was a famous uh, footy player uh, played with the All Blacks and um, uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure Tigers, uh, West Tigers, um, Olsen Filipina, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, who passed away a little bit ago. He actually used to be um, a garbage truck driver with Suez. Um, the, uh, I'd see him every uh, every Friday around um, around Marsfield near Epping. Um, I was kind of got a bit of a shock when I saw him. I'm like, is that Olsen? <laughs> He's driving a garbage truck? That's so cool, man. That is absolutely amazing. 
Uh, but yeah, it's so sad when he passed away. He had wrote, written a book too. Um, I've got to buy that. Uh, next questions, there are three from New South Wales Transport Vlogs. What got your interest into trains? Uh, Travelling uh, along the Richmond Branch Line, uh, where I lived along uh, with my grandfather, just sort of uh, piqued my interest. I was always um, so excited to travel on the trains. And um, going from a kid into adulthood, I just never really grew out of that. <laughs> Your second question is, if you had to pick one favourite station, which would it be? Uh, Wonderbine. I like Wonderbine because of the variety of trains you can get through there. And, um, and it's just very, very peaceful. Your third question is, what's your least favorite train station and why? I'm still gonna stick with uh, Hurstville. Um, the station itself is pretty good. However, one sec. Um, Hurstville, uh, the station itself has good frequent trains and all that kind of thing, but the lighting is absolutely terrible there. Uh, in my experience, anyway. <laughs> uh, the next three questions, um, you actually asked quite a few more than three, but I've uh, picked three. Um, AJ's transport videos, your first question is, what is your favorite bus route? I'm gonna say the B1, uh, which travels from uh, Wynyard to Mona Vale, uh, double-deck buses. Um, they're, yeah, they're really cool. I actually travel on those quite a, little, uh, quite a bit um, uh, to Mona Vale, uh, heading to Palm Beach and things like that. Uh, your second question is, do you think bike racks on buses would be useful in Sydney? Yes and no. Uh, yes, because, well, it makes people with bikes, um, you know, able to get around a bit easier. Uh, but the no side of things would be because Sydney's just really busy. If you have a, a, a like a, a bus route where there's just a lot of bikes getting on and off the thing and stuff like that, it just takes too much time. Um, and your third question, um, I like this question actually, is uh, are e-scooters useful? Yes, yeah, definitely. Getting around the city and things like that, you bloody zoom along. Yeah, I reckon it's really cool. As long as the batteries don't catch fire, I reckon they're, <laughs> I reckon they're really cool. For sure, for sure. Sorry, I'm just looking back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, waiting for trains. I'm gonna get through another two pages, I think, while we're here. <laughs> This question is from D's Nuts Sus. What stations on the Hunter Line are you keen on visiting again? Um, now, if you're familiar with the Hunter Line, you could maybe tell me. It's a station that Pitnacree Road uh, Overbridge um, is, is right near. I think it might be East Maitland or something. Um, Pitnacree Road um, Overbridge, you can sort of go under the bridge. Um, there's sort of like a viewpoint where you can see um, the uh, all kinds of trains traveling around um leroy's transport vlogs i picked one of your questions um one that hadn't been asked what is the rarest train related thing you have ever seen and, and because i only chose one of your questions i'm gonna i'm gonna give you three answers um anyway what is the rarest train related thing you have ever seen um a k set hauling uh set w3 a hunter set at hornsby and a C set at Mount Victoria. The C set at Mount Victoria was part of the Sydney Electric Train Society's Chopper to the Summit Tour. Got a Parramatta train in Platform 4, A77. Hoping a freighter comes, it comes through, you know, going in or out of um, Clyde Yard or maybe heading up or down the Blue Mountains or around through the south lane, something like that.
was actually able to fit uh, five. Oh, it's not even fixing, five questions. Uh, five different people's questions uh, on this page. Anyway, from the next person, next question is from King Sharky Plays. What is your favourite Sydney train line? Uh, the inner west and western lines. Uh, so the full line it just runs um, from uh, what do you call it? Central through to uh, Parramatta. Or if you're talking about a line just to actually travel on. Um, one that I like and I find peaceful and things, that will be the Southern Highlands. Sorry if the audio gets a bit weird sometimes, uh, gets a bit breezy. Uh, next question is from QWERTY Says Stuff. <laughs> when are you going back to the Southern Highlands? That's a convenient question after I just mentioned the Southern Highlands. Uh, you know, I want to I go back to the Southern Highlands uh, pretty soon. Um, been wanting to actually go back to the Bargo Hotel for lunch and a couple of drinks, so that's um, definitely something that I can do and uh, maybe film the trip on the way down there. The next uh, question is from Giddy. <laughs> Giddy. Um, how do you find the time to go train spotting and when is a good time to do that? Well, I'm going to answer the last part first. When is a good time? Um, during the day, <laughs> when the most trains are running. Um, how do I find the time to go train spotting? Um, basically just after work. So I'm a gardener. I start work anywhere between 5am and 6am, which means I can finish earlier in the day and I have plenty of time to, um, plenty of time to go train spotting after that. I don't really want to go, sometimes don't really want to go home and have a nap because if I nap during the day, I'm not going to sleep at night. Um, so yeah, and on weekends, things like that. And sometimes when it's raining or, I, you know, I can get a bonus day off, um, I can use that time to do some train spotting. Uh, the next question is from someone that makes me hungry. Next question is from Angus Beef. What would be your favorite train system in Australia other than Sydney? Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne, I like Melbourne. Melbourne's system is uh, really the train great. On four goes to A3 off to First Leppington. Stop, Clyde, then Ramble, then all stations to Liverpool, then Kasula, Glenfield, Edmondson Park, and Leppington. I think we're going to get the next Parramatta train to um, Harris Park. I'll uh, quickly get another question in from Aureus22. If you could build one transit line, it could be metro, suburban trains, anything, what would it be? It would be a, um, a Sydney trains line, double deck trains um, from the city up to Palm Beach um, throughout, throughout all the uh, you know, northern beaches, suburbs. That'll be much, much, much needed and really cool. Page seven now. Um, this will be the last page for Auburn, and then we'll uh, we'll get a train. We'll do some train spotting um, here while we wait for the next Parramatta service. Next question is from Ryan's Transport Vlogs. Yes, from Ryan's Transport Vlogs. What is your favourite train spotting place you've been to? Uh, Wanderbine. Uh, the variety of trains, um, freight, uh, XPTs, Explorers, VSATs, Oscars, um, even, even suburban train transfers, things like that. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Northern Rivers Transport Vlogs. Uh, you have two questions. First question is, how long do you plan on continuing YouTube? Uh, as long as I'm alive. Yeah, it's pretty fun. And plus, like, it helps with anxiety and things like that. It just, you know helps me share my passion for, for, for the world's rail network, actually, because I'm based in Sydney, but, you know, I've been to New York, I've been to Los Angeles, and in Australian networks like Melbourne and um, Brisbane's network. Yeah, uh, when I die, it's probably when I'll, uh, when I'll stop. Even then, I'll probably just be talking in my coffin. <laughs> uh, your second question is, is there any chance you or Abandoned Oz will cover more maritime-related topics? You know, I was going over the Anzac Bridge today, 
and I was just thinking about that. Um, I saw uh, Lady Northcott, the Lady Class uh, X Sydney Ferry, which is now owned by an organization called Tribal Warrior, I think. Tri Tribal Warrior, Tribal Warriors. I've actually been wanting to go there uh, to film a video, which actually would be uploaded but to both Sydney Trains Vlogs and Abandoned Oz. Right, next question, uh, last one for this page, um, uh, last question featured here at Auburn Station, is from Samuel Glenn, Station 567. You have two questions. What will be your favourite train when the Silver Sets retire? By the time the Silver Sets are gone, the XPTs and Explorers and part of the Endeavour fleet will be gone, so I'll have to say Tangara, because um, aside from the Silver Set fleet, Tangara is what I grew up on. Uh, uh, question two, um, what is, um, sorry, it's a bit breezy. Uh, what is your favorite and least favorite station? My favorite station, um, as mentioned earlier is Wonderbine. Um, just the variety of trains and being extremely peaceful. Uh, least favorite station. Um, it's really hard to say. I'm just going to keep saying Hurstville. <laughs> yeah, Hurstville. Just about to say, I wonder when a visa will pass through. That's come from the Blue Mountains and it's on its way to Central. There's actually a couple of questions on page five, which I missed out on. It must have been because I was uh, my mind was on something else before I read them out. Um, the, these questions from two different people are, uh, this one's from Adrian Realistic Plays. Uh, your question is, what is your favorite Sydney train and why? Um, in service will have to be, have to be the V-sets because um, they're fast, they're reliable, um, they're all just built to last. Uh, they're a great train. I love them. Um, other than that, um, including retired trains, it'll be the S sets. Simon Eastland, you have two, three questions. Uh, question one, would you consider a visit to the UK if British Rail sponsors you to vlog on our rail? Yes, most definitely. I really want to visit the UK for sure. Um, the trains there and the love for trains in the UK is absolutely incredible. So yes, I definitely, definitely would without, without a doubt. Your second question is, would you get a chance to interview Sydney Trains platform announcers? Uh, that's something I haven't thought of, but yeah, there's some pretty interesting characters uh, in a good way, some funny characters, um, uh, CSAs, customer service attendants um, at our stations. So yeah, um, if I ever got the chance, I would definitely do that. Your third question is, I'd love STV merch. Can we order any in the UK? I haven't got any merch yet, but I've actually been thinking about that. That's something I've got to look into um, throughout the course of the year, but yes, I definitely uh, would do that, for sure. D1041, that's a spare car. So I think this might actually be uh, M14. My train to Harris Park uh, or even Parramatta. See which one I decide on. That is almost here. But in the meantime, we have uh, 8126 hauling uh, some cement hoppers and some containers.
but I have B35. You know something? Might actually get this to Parramatta. While well, we're on our way to Parramatta, I'll read out another two or three pages of questions. Um, this train will stop at Clyde. This question is from Alastair King. His question is, what has been your favorite video that you have filmed? Uh, there's so many, um, like all the milestone videos, like, you know, the, um, the delivery of the first um, series two Waratah, uh, the first Marion sets, the testing of these trains, the entry to service of the series two Waratahs, um, the rare sightings, transport expos, uh, steam train trips, uh, overseas trips. That there's so many, it's hard to pick it's hard to pick one, but yeah, it's a good question. Um, so many. This station is Clyde. The next question is from Maitland Sydney Trains Vlogs. Do you plan on collaborating with other railway spotters? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd be open to collaborate with other railway spotters. I've collaborated with um, with Paul from Transport Vlog, Paul from Paul's Train Vlogs, and. Um, I've done a few little interviews for a couple of other channels during the community open days at uh, city metro stations. So yeah, for sure, I'd be open for that. Uh, Echoes of Content asked, what train or steam train is your favorite? I'm gonna go with steam train for this one. All stations to Parramatta service, next one will be Granville, train to Granville for services to Lappington and Campbelltown, Liverpool. Anyway, um, anyway, I'll go with I'll go with the steam train part of for this. I'm going to have to say uh, 3801. Uh, such a beautiful this train locomotive. Will stop at However, I do like the R class, uh, the Victorian R, R class locos too. Um, this next one, hopefully, I'm saying uh, your channel name right. Uh, I reigns two. How does it feel when all the silver sets are going to get scrapped and what's going to be your favorite tra train to catch? It'll suck when all the silver sets are scrapped for sure. It won't be, it'll be, yeah, it'll be quite sad. Uh, the train will be my favorite train to catch and it'll most likely be the Tangara, I think, uh, because that's a train that I grew up on and um, yeah. This station is Granville. Uh, the next question is from the Atra Australian train spotter, the Australian train spotter rather. What was your favourite video to make? Um, so, same answer as the one before. Um, there's so many. All the milestone videos, the overseas videos, interstate videos, um, any of the out of the ordinary kind of videos. The next question is uh, is from um, Railway Kid Vlogs, and your question is: What is your favourite intercity line? Will that include? The Southern Highlands, because if so, I'm going to have to say the Southern Highlands. It's so peaceful, absolutely beautiful. Um, definitely recommended to travel on that line too. Um, very scenic. The next question is from the Geek from New South Wales. What do you think of the CAF Civity sets, and when do you think they'll start testing? Um, to start with, I'm not too sure when they'll start testing. It's really hard to say they are a brand new train, so it might take a little while for them to start testing. Next stop. Harris Park. Um, and the first part of it, what do I think of the CAF Civity sets? Um, I've seen quite a few photos and I reckon they look really cool. I can't wait until they start testing and they enter service. Um, can't wait to cover those, um, the testing and entry to service of those trains too. Yeah, I reckon they're really cool. The next question is from Jemper's train videos. How far would you travel around Australia from Sydney only by train journeys? Oh, as far as trains will take me. You know, I'd travel on the Indian Pacific, the Gan, um, the Overland, the Great Southern, the Spirit of Queensland, the, all of them, any of them, yeah. As far as I can get by train. It'd be cool to explore the whole country by rail. Next question is from Tamworth Train Nut. My dad used to live near Tamworth, I think, uh, Binaway. Is that near Tamworth? Harris Park. Anyway, um, Tamworth Train Nut, your question was, have you heard about the Tamworth Miniature Railway located next door to the Tamworth Botanical Gardens? Uh, no, I haven't heard of that, but it sounds really, really cool. And um, if I get to Tamworth, if uh, it's more of a matter of when, uh, when I get to Tamworth, because I really do want to cover the Explorer trip there, I'll um, definitely have to check that out for sure. The next question is from a train dude. Your question is, will there be any chance that you could be a train guard? 
uh, well, I'm a gardener now and I don't really have any plans on quitting, but um, you never know what the future holds. Um, it's definitely a possibility for sure. This station is Harris Park. Next question is from Night Bling. When do you think the Northern Beaches will get a rail connection? I'm not too sure. It's um, it's talked about on and off all the time. Um, uh, but hopefully hopefully that could start very soon because um, the Northern Beaches really needs a rail, uh, yeah, rail lane um, all the way up to Palm Beach. That'd be really cool. Um, good question, by the way. Next question is from Train Kid. When and how did you get into trains and recording them? Um, as mentioned, uh, a few questions ago. Uh, my grandfather and I used to travel along the Richmond branch because I lived around the Hawkesbury area uh, between Richmond and Windsor. Um, used to visit my grandfather um, quite a bit so um, I'd travel with him on the trains on uh, on the on the Richmond branch um, and sometimes if I was lucky enough all the way into the city which was a definite treat for me. And uh, yeah and uh, the, the interest in trains just never went away as I you know, grew into an adult. And uh, yeah, and as for filming trains, um, Next stop, I just uh, one day decided to randomly get, like, you know, just document trains and just get videos of them. And um, uh, ever since then, it sort of slowly evolved into the vlogging style. And, uh, and, and here we are today. Next question is from the only boy Alexis. What do you think of Ashfield this Station? Train will stop at Parramatta. Um, Ashfield Station, I reckon it's pretty cool. Um, very frequent trains, a great variety of trains. Uh, as mentioned uh, a few questions ago, one of my answers were that I love the inner west part of uh, the line. So yeah, uh, because of that reason, uh, the variety and things. Next question is from Fab Does Stuff. Do you ever get bored taking the train and, and routes? And if you do, what do you do to spice it up a bit? I don't get too bored, but like if I'm just like, I don't know, getting impatient, I just really want to get home because I'm tired or I'm well or something like that. And I guess effectively bored, I just listen to music or watch something on my phone. Yeah, but um, I just love travel. It sort of gives me time to myself and um, yeah. That Waratah just got off is returning to the City Circle, so we'll uh, we'll jump back on board soon. But in the meantime, there is a Richmond service coming, which we'll uh, film the uh, the departure of. Yeah, we'll get the arrival too. Just thought there was a lot of people there, but using the wide angle thing sort of gives the illusion that the people are a bit further away than they actually are. A thirty seven doing the honours of the Richmond run on this service. this train. Once we leave, once we start to depart, we'll get the last three pages worth of questions in. Head into the city. Might uh, might jump off at Circular Quay and get a few trains there, I think. This train will stop at Parramatta, Harris Park, Granville, Clyde, Auburn, Lipcombe, Flemington, Homebush, Stratfield, Burwood, Croydon, Ashfield, Summer Hill, Lewisham, Petersham, Stanmore, Newtown, McDonald Town, Redfern, Central, Town Hall, William, Circular Quay.
Next stop, Harris Park. Okay, the next question is from Alex Andrews, Miracle Boy, a uh, long time no see, man. Um, hope you're doing well. Um, I'll have to this send you a message actually. We'll stop at Harris Park. Anyway, Alex, your question. What train line, metro, light rail, Sydney trains, New South Wales trains, regional, would you like to see expanded or electrified if in regional areas such as the Hunter Valley or Bathurst Bullet? Um, I would like to see. I'd like to see the um, line from Kayama to Bomaderry electrified. Uh, that's actually been talked about a few times. Um, I'd like to see possibly the Eastern Suburbs line extended to Bondi Beach, even though that would piss a few of the locals off. But that's all right. That's uh, all a part this of the plan. This station <laughs> is part of the plan. Um, <clears throat> Please mind the gap. Um, yeah, no, there's quite a bit. The Hunter Valley, mm, no. I mean, it'll be cool if it was electrified, but it's not at the forefront of my mind. Um, yeah, the Bathurst Bullet would be good as well if that, if the um, line to Bathurst was electrified too. But um, I think mainly mainly the um, Kayama Bomaderi um, and the extension of the Eastern Suburbs are coming to the forefront of my mind. Um, or maybe an extension of the Richmond branch to um, Corrigong. That'll be pretty cool too. Um, next question is from Professor Locomotive. Your question is, what are your thoughts on Waratahs being a heritage train in 20 years now? I feel old. Um, <laughs> no, all good. Um, yeah, I mean, technically they could be, like, some trains are about 30 or so years old when they're retired, some of them, um, and they'd go into, like, a, one or two could be kept as a heritage train, wouldn't they? That's scary to think of. So what are my thoughts? Next stop, scary. Granville. Those my thoughts are just that. That is scary. To know that time is going so fast. <laughs> um, the next train... Uh, the next train to arrive? No. Um, the next question is from Sydney Trains and Joya. What is your favourite train? Um, the S sets, but in service currently. I don't say the V sets. They're such a beautiful train and it'll be sad to see them go. The next question is from Let's Go Melbourne Storm. What coffee shop do you think is better? Subway Snacks or CJ's? Now, so I don't get shot by either of them. I'm gonna have, I'm joking though. This train um, will stop look, at Granville. It really is a tie in their own way. So um, coffee wise, if I'm wanting just like a normal strength coffee, I might say Subway Snacks. But as for food, I'll definitely say CJ's. However, if I do want like a super strong, like the extra, if I say like extra shot of coffee, they deliver and give you a, a coffee that would probably keep you awake for the next 46 years, which is very good. And that's exactly what I need. Um, but no, I, it's really in honesty, it's a hard question because I do love um, both of them quite a lot. Um, this one, uh, usually I'd write the questions um, for people in sort of like, um, like all at once for the same person, but uh, this time not quite the, not quite how it is. Um, this question is from Fab Does Stuff uh, again. Uh, your, your second question uh, is... This station is Granville. Yes it is. Please mind the gap when getting on or off the train. Anyway, Fab does stuff. Uh, your your second question is, your videos are really relaxing to put on in the background while I work on other things or just to calm down after a busy day. That's really cool. That's cool. Uh, what do you like to do to unwind? Oh, it depends. Um, I like to just sit home and sit at home and watch stuff or, or listen to music or, or I could just go out for a walk and listen to music or if I really feel like it maybe just duck over to the pub for a drink just a you know, cheeky drink just to kick back and relax um, after a hard day um, the pub side of things would most likely be after one of those days where you're just like not having it it's just next stop nothing's going Why? right kind of thing um, next question is from transport nerd this train will stop at Clyde. No, Transport Nerd did not say this train will stop at Clyde. <laughs> anyway, uh, Transport Nerd, your question is, what's your motivation on posting videos and being happy? Uh, well, posting videos makes me happy. Um, uh, being a transport enthusiast um, is my hobby, it's my passion. Um, and yeah, uh, it, it's, it's what I do to sort of 
or it's fun and it sort of helps out with anxiety a bit. Um, yeah, no, just, just trains in general are my, 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 sorry, uh, my motivation. This station is Plymouth. And uh, also, mind the gap oh when getting on or off the train. Train speaks more than me. Anyway, um, and yeah, no, just um, everybody's appreciation, making all of you happy, um, is is great motivation as well. Next question is from Jimmy Meal. Your question is, just read on railexpress.com that Chalora Heritage Hub might be opening soon, or has opened. If this is the case, will you be interested in and have the time to do a vlog there? Um, I'm not too sure what kind of heritage hub it would be, if it's just sort of like, like a no-go for people who don't work with the railway, or if it's going to be like a museum. But if it is like a museum and obviously, you know, you get in and have a bit of a look around, yeah, I'd definitely be open to filming there for sure. Next stop, Bourbon. Um, here's a name that I'm probably going to stuff up massively and I apologise if I do, but either way, um, that's my fault, not yours. Um, Hrithikesh. Hrithikesh? Fun stuff. If I pronounce that wrong, please let me know. What is your favourite train and why, and which set? Um, seeing you added... Oh, actually, I'm going to go with in-service. So, in-service. Um, V-sets are my favourite train, and the set would have to be... Um, oh, I'm going to choose three sets because... The, well, I like them all because of the same reason. So there are V-sets 20... 21 and 27 because they have um, the old um, uh, crew compartment, the old crew cars, the old driving cars um, on them. Another one which I'll stuff up. It's all right. This I'm just train being a will stop um, at Bourbon. Realford. Realford? 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 Your question is if you could bring back anything from the past, a withdrawn train, a closed station or branch line, anything transport, transport related of the sort, what would it be? I love this question. And it's going to be a very, no, it's going to be very, I don't know, it's a different answer than what you'd expect maybe. That would be the um, 1964 double deck Tulloch trailers. Um, they were, um, yeah, they were, they were on the uh, W sets and M sets of the Red Rattlet variety. Um, this station is Bourbon. Later Please on in their life, mind oh, the gap when getting on or off the train. We'll try and do that. Um, yeah, no, the Tulloch trailers were um, later in their later life on the R sets and S sets. So R sets are just a six carriage version of an S set. S sets are four carriages, um, which could be coupled two of them into an eight carriage set. Anyway, no, the Tulloch trailers were on the S sets and the R sets, which were very interesting because um, this goes back to um, when I traveled uh, on trains as a kid with my grandfather. So when an R set or an S set arrived at, at, at a station and had a Tulloch trailer, and I'm like, oh, pop, special carriage. Can we get on the special carriage? Um, because they looked quite different to the rest of the um, Ganin and, and um, Comanche carriages on the S sets and R sets. Uh, but that's a really good question. Uh, brings back memories too. Uh, but if you don't don't know what a Tulloch carriage is or a double deck Tulloch carriage, just type in. Um, Next stop, Lidcombe. Just type in uh, Tulloch. So that's T U L L O C H. Uh, Tulloch double deck trailer car on Google, and you'll see what they look like. I might have to um, hit up a semi-retired FOMA for some photos of Tulloch trailers and um, and help him out by plugging his channel and thanking him for that too. It'll be an interesting video to do. Uh, next next question on the last page of questions is um, four questions from four different people. Um, the first of those four uh, is from Sydney Train Spotting Videos. Your question is why is Wonderbine one of your favourite stations? Uh, well, there's a lot of reasons. It's unique because it's the only train station, well, apparently the only train station in Australia with no road access. Very short platform, can barely fit one train carriage in it. Um, it's very peaceful, um, surrounded on one side, surrounded by water and surrounded by bush on the other side. Um, it's great to do some train spotting with the variety of trains that you have through there. 
Um, and uh, yeah, as, as mentioning a number of times before in the video about anxiety, which I do suffer from unfortunately, um, it, it helps with that too if you just want to get away from things. There is no reception there for the best part unless you turn Wi-Fi on, which I don't. Um, it's, it's a good place to get away from it all. Just sit in the quietness unless a train's coming past which is also cool if you ask me um yeah that's why that's why wonderbun is uh, one of my favorite stations this train will stop at lidcombe change at lidcombe for t3 bankstown and city and t7 olympic park services the next question is from uh, k key or k so k-e-i with a question mark um kind of reminds me um kind of in, in the hangover with Mr. Chow, how he's like, K. Okay. So cool. I love that movie, by the way. Anyway, I'm going to say K. Your question is, what got you into Australian transport, specifically trains? Um, as mentioned before, my grandfather, traveling on trains with my grandfather when I was a kid, he passed away in 1999, um, sadly enough. And um, just sort of trying to add more to the question, so I'm not saying the same thing. Um, but yeah, no. So yeah, traveling on the trains is my... Yes, anyway, travelling on trains with my grandfather and um, the interest in trains just never went away as I grew into adulthood, um, possibly because it um, sort of reminds me of my grandfather as well. Um, he was a... hands in the way. Um, he was a really big part of my life and um, yeah, yeah, so, so that's why. Uh, the second last question is from NRL Spa. You asked, is the Bomber Dairy to Kayama upgrade going on? And are they doing for the new regional train? Okay, I'll, um, so I think you're saying, are they, are they going to upgrade the Bomber Dairy to Kayama line? Uh, I'm not too sure I've heard too much about that. I mean, I've heard in the past about an, an electrification um, and possible duplication or something like that. I'm not too sure. Um, uh, but that, I'm not too sure. Next that I'll have to look into, but it's a good question. Um, a really, really good question. Um, and apart from the, uh, 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 sorry, as for the new regional train part, uh, do you, are you talking about the Pomodoro to Kayama line getting the new regional train or, or what's happening with the new regional train? Either way, I'll, I'll just actually sort of answer both of those bits. Um, as for the Pomodoro to Kayama line getting, to, getting the new regional train, yeah, I don't say why not. The, the CAF Civity sets are going to be replacing some of the Endeavours, and the Endeavours do run on the Harbour Madeira de Kayama um, portion. So, yeah, I think that they'll definitely run that part. And uh, or if you were asking what's going on with the new regional train, um, the first six cars were delivered, so that's the LR set, um, so the long regional, so that's the XPT replacement, uh, that is going to be um, uh, tested in due course. I'm not too sure when. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully testing starts soon and um, in the future the entry to service. Definitely looking forward to that. The lucky last question is from MT Gaming. You asked, why was there a long time period that you would not speak anymore? Yeah, I do remember that there was um, a time where I wouldn't speak anymore. That was a mix of two things. It was a mix of the anxiety sort of... This train will stop at Flemington. Yeah, so the anxiety was sort of giving me a tough time. So it was sort of... Like, didn't really have the energy to to speak a lot. I guess it, the anxiety was kicking me down a little bit. And um, also, also, I think um, that could have been also around the time that I was um, maybe narrating my videos too much. So I decided to decided to not talk as much. But I think I actually stopped talking altogether. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I, th I think that, so. Now I've just sort of found the happy medium. Um, if I want to yap on about something, I'll yap on about something, or if there's nothing to say, I just won't, won't, won't say much. So, yeah. This station is Flemington. Please right. mind the gap when getting on or off the train. So I'm pretty sure I got all the questions. Um, if there are, were any questions posted after 10 a.m. today, Wednesday, the 13th of March, 2024, uh, those questions uh, wouldn't have been added um, as I did give that sort of time frame um, or if I did scroll past a message that I just um, 
innocently missed, like honestly missed or something like that. I do apologize, um, but there will be opportunities down the track where I'll do a um, Q&A video, um, just like a purpose, sole purpose of Q&A uh, video. Um, so yeah, there'll be more opportunities. But anyway, um, we'll, we'll still film. Uh, as I said, this is a 30,000 30, subscriber video. This is going to be a 30,000 hour long video. It has to be. Um, <laughs> no, it's going to be a long one. Like a one, one and a half hour. Maybe two hours, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll go to Circular Key, get a couple of trains there. Um, and then see how I feel afterwards. So this is like a more, you know, behind the scenes video plus like you know when I get up to you know while, while while the actual videos are being filmed so it's sort of an all-in-one including the Q&A so uh, yeah so I'm gonna approach Homebush very shortly this train will stop at Homebush there's a question for you all um, if you're still watching um, over an hour in Merch. What would you all think about merch? Like you know, shirts, uh, different different you know sizes, different colours, different um, prints on shirts. Um, like maybe posters of photos that I've taken. Uh, I don't know about keychains, but I'll say keychains, stuff like that. What would you think about that? I might actually bring it down, bring it up in the future. Um, yeah. This station is Homebush. Please mind the gap when getting on or off the train. Another thing I would bring up is the um, members section of um, of the channel. So I've I've added a paid part in the channel. Don't worry, don't worry. All the videos are 100% free. It doesn't affect anything. You can still watch everything as normal. That's still not a problem at all. That's not that's not what the members part is. Uh, members part is like a was it two dollars ninety nine a month for like a few extra perks like you know um like posts like behind the scene photos and posts um informative posts about what's going on in the network um, what i'm doing with the channel what i'm doing in my life um there's um, australian railway related emojis that i've that i've made um and you also get like a little emoji next to your name um which actually changes the longer that you that you remember that you're a member sorry um so you start off with the with the marion d set and as your membership ages so does your train so like you know the like a so you, you get like an s set and as, a, as your membership Next reaches stop. like three years or something like that it becomes a, a red set so that's you know. stop will be Strathfield, change it Strathfield for northern Ireland services and central coast services and this um, also includes um, like members only live streams, um, like an at, ho at home chat and live Q and A kind of stuff. Um, polls, like you know, just random polls, like you know, what would you prefer, this or that kind of thing. Um, this yeah, train all that will stop stuff. at Stratfield. Uh, so if, Change at oh, Stratfield yeah. for T two City, T nine Northern, and Intercity Central Coast and Newcastle services. And if there were train delays, you'd hear no announcements whatsoever. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, next to the subscribe button should be a button that says join. So if you tap join, uh, you'll be able to see the list of perks there. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of what it's about. It's up to you. Up to you. But either way, if you don't, just, just still watch the videos as normal. None of that changes. And that, so, yeah. We've made it to Circular Key. Got a cruise ship in the Celebrity Edge.
moves to Lincoln via Bentstown. First stop, St. James. on the lead. go upstairs we've been going uh, downstairs for all the uh, all the other trains all right I had to sort of edit a little bit um, just like the clip before you probably would have seen how just how I just quickly said oh M9 on the lead I actually said something before that I said that I was actually gonna get this train to Redfern and we're gonna I was gonna get something to eat and we're gonna wait for a K set uh, for the next K set uh, or first K set of the afternoon is not for uh, an hour and a half maybe even closer to two hours maybe um so i just sort of can that um so what we'll do is we'll actually head to central and um uh I'll head home um so i can uh, make myself a bit of a late lunch and um and uh, let you guys say hello to my cat <laughs> so in september last year we we got a cat i've got a cat um her name's ariel and um, she's so cute, she's nearly 11 months old now. Um, yeah, she's quite adorable, and the chances are that she's probably sleeping in her little little hidey hole in her cat tree or something like that. Um, but now, but now I, I want to get a, a little clip of her or something like that, a little video clip of her. She'll probably run to the most awkward part of the place, and she'll probably look at me and go, try to get a video of me now. You have to break your back while doing so, Phil. <laughs> Oh dear, but anyway, yeah, so that, that's, that's what we're going to do. We just left the museum. Uh, I'll film the rest of the clip, the rest of the trip into Central, which is the next stop. Um, instead of uh, coffee today, I've got a, I've got a prime. Um, drinking one of those on an empty stomach is not recommended. It's um, 2 something p.m. Um, yeah, it's feeling a bit, quite a bit peckish. Uh, what did I, I had a coffee earlier this morning, had a pie or something like that. It's after 2 p.m. at a pie at maybe 10 o'clock um, because the boss wanted me to go to a 7-Eleven and just grab a pie. So I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll grab one too. <laughs> but anyway. We'll head back home and for the video, we'll, 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 we'll get... I don't know why am I stuttering? We'll grab the tram, I think. So I'll grab the tram, the L2 to Randwick. I'm not going to grab the bus. I mean, I usually grab the bus because it's more convenient for me anyway. Um, but just, just so I can add a bit more into this video as well, I'll grab, I'll grab the tram. And usually on the bus, there's usually someone screaming about something. Or just screaming at themselves, rather. Um, I suppose, depending on their circumstances, they can't help it. So I'm not going to put crap on them. Um, I'll film this train leaving. 
a bit of a fun fact, it's just um, how it works, is usually the minute that the train's due out, the whistle will get blown at 32 seconds past the minute so that the doors can close at around 40 seconds past so the train can uh, take off right on the minute of departure, if that makes sense. Two. 38, 39, and doors should close in a second anyway. But anyway, that's, uh, that's just how it works. You learn these fun facts talking to CSAs sometimes. Uh, very interesting job that they do for sure. But yeah, we'll film this leave and then we'll head downstairs. Remain behind the yellow line at all times and allow others to get off before boarding. The next train to arrive on platform 22 goes to Lidcombe via Banstown. First stop Redford, then Erskineville, St. Peter's, Sydenham, then all stations to Banstown, then so that's what I get up to during a day of, uh, of filming. Well, a day of filming where I sort of um, film at the random stations anyway. Uh, only real difference is that I'll actually stay at the stations for a bit longer, just to get maybe eight to 10 minutes, maybe a bit more uh, worth of footage. I was gonna go out to the other way. A bit of luck we won't have too long for a Randwick tram. You can see from the distance that it's actually the next tram due in, so that's good. Two minutes. So I started work uh, pretty early this morning at about 5.30. It wasn't terribly much of a long day. Uh, finished at about 11.30. It's now uh, maybe 10 to 3, maybe closer than that to 3 o'clock. Uh, so, yeah. So, I don't stay out all day. I still can go home and have a bit of a chill, you know. See you 
see what unit I have. I have number three. I'm back at the home suburb. There's another tram on the other platform here. Might as well film it departing. It's got about two or three minutes to go. The leading unit of this tram to the right is number 60, which is the last built. It's the newest one of the Citadus X05 trams. Should be due out in just a moment too. Alrighty, just got to run a quick errand and then, uh, yeah, see you all at home. So, this is Ariel. Stuck to your paw. <laughs> You're gonna fall. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, folks, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you soon. Bye for now. And thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers. Greatly appreciated. I appreciate it. More than I can say. Ciao.